Hello and welcome back to Breath of the Wild. My name is Wilbrain. Previously we gave Raiju, or Riju, the uh, Thunderhelm. And she said to meet us here and we'll take on the Divine Beast. So here we are. Thank you, Mr. Sandsteel. Sandsteel. Um, even though she's pretty much seen through our disguise, I think. I think she's seen through our disguise. I'm not going to change my outfit until I'm out of her sight. And she's waiting for me. I'm guessing up here. At a guess. Because, you know, if I wanted to climb on top of a gigantic robot monster, I'd be quite high up. She's not going to be up here, is she? I'm going to climb all the way to the top of these ladders and there'll be nobody... Oh, there she is. Oh, good. Great minds think alike. What a sight. Divine Beast Varnaboris is pretty intimidating. Yeah. If we want to get close enough to that thing, we'll need to use sand seals. Are you ready? Yes, mine's parked outside. Feeling confident? Good. Let's get going then. First, we'll use the sand seals to get in really close to that thing. I'll take the lead. I'm counting on you to shoot at its feet with bomb arrows. Bomb arrows? Um, those are expensive and I don't know if I've got any. The Boris draws energy from the ground to keep moving. If you damage the feet, I think you can stop it. Those lightning strikes, though, getting hit even once can prove fatal. The Thunder Helm can repel the lightning strikes, protecting me from harm. Can I wear it? But it can also seal the limited area around me. Oh, I see. You'll have to stay close if you don't want to get shocked. I'll do that. And listen, if you're too injured to keep fighting, promise me you'll retreat here to the lookout post. Don't do anything reckless under any circumstances. You mean like firing bomb arrows at a gigantic robot camel that shoots lightning? Here are some Gerudo bomb arrows. There aren't many, so be sure to put them to good use. Ah, fantastic. 20 bomb arrows, that'll do. This is the last time I'll ask. Are you ready? Yes. Could you give me a bit of room just for a moment? Okay. Hey, your sand still looks different to mine. My name is Raiju, descendant of the royal line and leader of the Grudo people. With the power of the heirloom passed down in my family, I shall calm the divine, divine beast Varnaboris. Who are you talking to, mate? Ancestors of the Grudo, answer my call. Aid me in this task. Oh. That's normal. I feel like my hair should be standing on end. And yet the sand seals are completely unfazed by this. Oh wow, I can feel their power coursing through me. I think that's something else. He the helmet came loose. Let's move. Sand seal is ready. Lady Herbosa, please get Grant Link and me your protection. Oh, action music starting. I'm tied off. Where are we go? Oh. I think we need to stay inside this circle somehow. The air has become very hot. You'll take damage even with... I didn't finish reading. Oh, I'm making a complete arse of this. Now I'm too far ahead. Where's the damn thing? We're still miles away. Now we're in a sandstorm. Do you even know where we are? Well, we must be closer to it. I thought you were, like, in a big hurry to do this. You seems to be taking a pretty chilled out pace. Okay. This is all very good and all, but there doesn't seem to, be, seem to be a great deal happening. We're just two idiots riding on shields attached to sand seals by a rope going blindly into a... Uh, 
a sandstorm. Towards, ah, there it is, a big robot. Uh oh, that's not normal. Ah, it's targeting. I'm assuming it's targeting me. Uh oh, I'm outside the shield. Oh, I died. <laughs> oh, dear. Alright, let's try not to get blown up this time. Hey, it worked. Fantastic. Trying. Shooting at the big purple feet. Hey, I hit it. I mean, I hit the area near it, and that seems to have been enough. Oh no, oh no! I'm not trying to wander it off, you're just going at a completely random speed. Excellent. Two down. Three down. Can we get the last one before I get shot by lightning? Oh, I was pretty sure that missed. Excellent. Now, do we have to be stood underneath it for this part? Oh, that's one of our big angry robot. Oh, I killed it. Well, that was easy. Wait, didn't we want it dead? Oh, it's coming down. Everybody run. Wow. Wow, oh, those are some serious... Wow, that's a stylish landing by the uh, sand seal. Do I have to keep my mask on? How do you know? You've not tried. I'm going. I'm in my best, bravest costume. I definitely feel brave. Oh, and she's back up again. Fantastic. It's alright. I can climb anything. This is perfectly safe. I feel fine. You got any more of those bomb arrows, just in case? I mean, if anything's going to happen, I'm going to come down at some point. Oh, its head's all weird looking. That's odd. Boop. Yay, fast travel. We don't have to do that madness with the... Uh... Well, well, well. Huh? Will I? I mean, it's not that big. I mean, it's big, but, you know, it's not massive. Well, it's massive, but it's not so big that I get lost in it. Head over to that guidance zone. Sounds easy, right? Yeah, it does. Hey, a robot. A uh, waste of a bomb arrow. I'll just shoot it with a regular... Oh, no, it's just... Slightly bigger robot. And I'm armed with a torch. Yes, because I did some cooking between episodes. Good. Um, go for this. Try not to knock you. Oh! No shields. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to toss some... Low value, easy to find weapons. There you go. And I shall have the pointy stick. Hell of a view from up here. You think the inertia would send us flying every time it takes a step? Hey, you can see uh, Gerudo Town, village, over there, I think. And the really tall tower is up there somewhere. Very good. Hello. I'm going to poke you in the eye. Because that's how this works. See, the wind there, when it exploded, shows us you our speed. Okay. Map's up there somewhere, or possibly up there. No, it's the other side. Okay, good. Shit, like a big barrel inside. Right.
Up we go. Yeah, she's your typical unstoppable divine beast monster. I'm sure I can take care of it in no time. I've already stopped. Was it one or two? I've not been counting. Distilling that. Ah, oh, cool. Yep, it's a big barrel. Divine Beast Controls Enabled. Sweet. It just occurred to me I'm still wearing a dress. Good work getting the map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that control Naboris are noted by a series of glowing points on your map. Indeed. Take Naboris back by activating all of the terminals. Easy. I'm not dressed for this though, am I? Is it still unbelievably hot in here? I doubt it would be, actually. Right, uh, yes, it's a very good action pose, Nick, but you do... Nick, Lick, Link, but you do look a bit absurd. Some trousers, and lose the hat. There we go. There's our fighting gear. It does actually have uh, defense stats as well, which is good. Rightio. There's a central command, that's easy enough to find. Ooh, that looks like it explodes. Remember what the buttons are. Fun fact, when you fire one of these, you get two bomb arrows for the price of one. Okie dokie. I will need to look at the map at some point, but I'm not planning on it. Oh, another big robot. Oh, he's got a big axe. My axe. Which I'm going to replace uh, this with. As much as I do like having a spear, I already have one. And Mipha's Grace is ready, apparently. Guardian axe. Don't think I've had one of these before. Hmm. Very good. Oh, another thing to blow up. Let's just blow things up and hope for the best. Yeah, that's not opening anytime soon. Yep. I think I blew two things up then. Oh no! Okay. I didn't realise there wasn't a path there. Yeah, I can't climb up that. Oh, that's annoying. I can't climb back. I have to go a long way around. That's equally as annoying. Or at least as annoying. Yep. Right. Let's time this jump a little better this time, shall we? There we go. And a chest containing... Ancient Spring. Fantastic. That was worth all the palaver. Okay. Enough messing around. What else we got? Ooh. Let's poke that thing in the eye with my six arrows. Oh my goodness. I thought I'd bought more. What's going to die? Ah, I thought something was going to drop down then. That's annoying. However... One should note that this entire place rotates. Where are we? We're there. At the head end. And that is in the middle end. So if I move the middle one round, rotate 90 degrees. Perfect. Now it's upside down. Do it again. And the big robot sign seemed to scream when I did that. That's not upsetting at all. And another one. You think it'd be able to go in two directions? Oh, there's a chest on either side, so it was right the first time. Oh, that's quite annoying. 
I have no idea how to get up there just yet. Sure, I'll figure it out, I usually do. Hmm. That's interesting. Yep. What do we got here? A cage of some sort. And it contains a hole. Ah, one of the map thingies. Fantastic. Okay, so we need to somehow drop into there. We need to be on the outside. I say stand here. Whoop. I uh, lost my feet. Hello, Robit. Goodbye, Robit. Didn't mean to press that. All that. I was kind of hoping to capture him alive, but whatever. Okay, now I need to rotate this one again. Yes! Show me the door. And once more, because I can't actually do this when I'm horizontal. Grand! Boop! Yeah, I know. I'm also good at counting. And the music's gotten slightly more intense. Okay, there's only one way out of here. And that's spinning it around until there's a door. Damn it! Blast! There's a... grid bot walking the way out. How did I get in here? Arc. Oh no, the grid's not on the actual moving what's it, which I feel I shouldn't be stood on when it's moving around. Here we go, back where we started. Giddo. And we're outside again. Okie dokie. Hmm. There's one. I think that's one. Or is that the map? No, we've already done the map. Okay. Can ignore that. Anything else catching my eye? Not a great deal. Okay, what's going on with these electric circuits then? So, that's in the wrong place. And that's in the wrong place. Let's line them up. 90 degrees at a time. What do they connect to? What do they do? In that direction? Not a lot. In that direction? Also not much. Oh, hello. Well, that's just peculiar. It's a chest on a rope hanging over a chasm. Well, a very, a very long way down. Can I swing it and then snap it? Pull it towards me. Drop it. And then... Timing was important in that little operation. Oh well, I guess we're not getting the contents of that chest anytime soon. Huh. Why do I feel stupid? What else can we do? Is there anything these conduits can connect to? Not seeing anything. Oh, hey, what's that? Ah, it's just a... A walkway. Oh, hey! That. Oh, I can't quite look at it from here. That looks important. 
let's switch that on. So we need to flip everything around 180 degrees. Well, most things anyway. Eric! Ah! This feels terrible. <laughs> okay, let's at least put myself in a place where I won't fall over this time. Okay, boop, boop, boop. Now what happens? There we go. Something's connected. Hey, I'm at the top level. Not been up here yet. What else is going on? Oh, that end's rotating. Was that doing that before? I don't think it was. Alright, we've got a circuit breaker. Nice little feature. I like it. So that it doesn't accidentally activate. Okay, let's push this one over here. That's active. I suppose I want power to travel that way, so... This one? Not close enough. Almost. Oh, I see. It's on the wall there. Cool. Oh. That's odd. They just fold up its butt. Oh! <laughs> Electricity is not your friend. Okay, that, um... That didn't accomplish a great deal. I'm just going to push it back. And see what happens when it's not upright. This thing looks like it needs to be electrically charged. Yeah, it's not a thing that you hit. What if I hit it with my thunder blade? Oh! Well, look at that! I wasn't expecting that to work. Alright! Uh oh! I'm gonna fall quite a long way. Well, I think I just broke the Divine Beast. And I can't shoot straight up. That's annoying. I don't know why you would be able to, but you can't. Right, I'm thinking I might die if I don't eat something. I cooked all the bananas and uh, coyote meat, so, yeah. Nom 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 nom. Right, let's try that again, and this time we'll shoot the thing. This probably isn't the right way to do this, but it's working so far. Oh, this is very hard to aim because it keeps moving, and I'm not very good at moving targets. And I don't have many arrows left. Oh, come on, how'd that not kill it? Oh, it's hurting! Oh! <laughs> This is remarkably silly. I'm gonna get a few more stabs with this sword. Hi! Now it's dead. Great stuff. But anyone watching this is thinking, what an absurd person this person is. Seeing me run up and down this thing. Yeah! Oh! Huh? Ooh, nearly ran out of stamina. And that's how you don't do that, ladies and gentlemen. Always keep a thunder blade handy. You never know when you'll need one. Great. Now, aha! You! Poke! I said poke! Ooh, a ladder. That's worth noting. Excellent. Did a robot just fall down over there? I think a robot just fell down over there. <laughs> Ooh. And this thing's working. Is that always working? Oh, it is now. What happens if I spark this thing up? Oh, 
Not a great deal. What if I drop it? What if I pick it up and place it on top of the thing? No, it doesn't conduct unless it's been striking. That makes sense, because otherwise it'd be constantly electrocuting me. Alright, let's grab that magnet ball thing. No! Oh, flip. Fine, whatever. Oh, something spitting out badness. Wrong weapon. I don't like those things, they freak me out. Ah, nuts. Guess I'll use one of these many bomb arrows. There you go. Oh, he's not dead. Where's the other end of this thing? There you are. That should take care of these jerks. Where'd he go? Never ending supply of baddies. Hey, is it that door from before? No, it's a different door. And there's a robot on the other side of it. Good. Okay. I still want that electric thing up there. I could have just used magnetism to grab hold of it. Oh my goodness, my hearts. More bananas, please. Bananas and meat. You can't see the bananas because nobody ever thought you'd cook. Bananas and meat together in one dish, but uh, desperate times and lazy gamers <laughs> mean that that's what you get. Uh, first floor, electric shock devices, controls to giant murder machines and evil beings. Oh, flip. I can't get it while I'm on this moving thingy. This lift is a hindrance and a help. I'm going to get off the lift at the top, move the ball, and then come down. I should be able to reach it at this range, I think. Yeah. Oh, I don't even need to get it. As long as the lift doesn't knock it out of the air. Great. Why don't I put it here? Not a great deal. What happens if I put it here? Ooh! That's, I didn't realise that was a moving thing. It's not moving very really far, but it's enough. Hello, robot! I knew I saw one of you guys. And he's gone. That's so odd. Ooh, look, one of them things. Waste of another bow arrow. That right, bomb arrow. Excellent. Right, where's that robot? Hey, big free legged monkey. Okay, that's gone. I suggest we hit it with a big stick. Look! That did surprisingly little damage. I'm impressed with myself. And for some reason, I'm crouching. My head must have gotten stuck under something. There we go. Oh, I'm going to break two weapons in one day. Where's the axe? There was an axe. I want that axe. Killed that as well. The axe is gone. Damn it. Oh well, at least I got the second map stone thingy. There are three terminals remaining. Hang in. Thanks for the pep talk. What's that down there? Oh, it's his head. It appears to have an elevator on its head. Is that a feature or a bug? What's upstairs? I never went to the top floor of the last room. I'm sure I can explore it <laughs> at another time. Yep. And you're on time, Lift. Right. Oh, another one of these electric ball things. And 
Oh, a chest. Oh, it's the other half of this travelator, what's it? Seemingly unnecessary lift. Oh, am I in the humps? I am in the humps. There's all this horrible goo here. Topaz? I was expecting diamond, but I suppose it does the electricity thing, which is important for this situation. Oh, we're here, right, okay. Well, good thing there's a ladder here. What does this do? Spins everything around. Good. I think that's an improvement. Honestly, not sure what it did. It does however mean I can take this. Not sure why I'd take this, but I am taking it. Let's not let it roll away now, Link. Drop that there, grab the other one. Not sure why I need them both, but I feel like these are important. Uh, not been to the bottom floor yet, so I suppose that's where we're going. Pop that over there. Take this one with me. Okay. Got me electric balls, don't know why yet. What's that? Seriously though, what is that? Detonating it accomplishes nothing. Let's write that one down. I'm pretty sure I set myself just so slightly on fire. Only slightly. Yep. That looks interesting, but it looks like it's also a one-way trip. Can I just hold one of these near that? Will that be enough to accomplish anything? Yes. Hello! Two robots. That nearly finished him off in one go. Notice I'm... Whoa, what the hell just happened? I'm making a deliberate effort not to use my biggest weapons all the time. If you remember the last boss fight, which is before we went... Okay, you just saw that. That sword just straight up vanished. That's the problem. This entire Divine Beast is hopping up and down across the desert and it's messing with the physics engine and things just fall through the earth. Anyway, as I was saying, the last Divine Beast battle we fought was uh, not easy. Ah, look at that. Two places perfectly positioned for two of these thingies. So yeah, I'm saving all my big weapons for that if I can, if they don't just fall through the earth. Radio. Not sure what's on the other side of this door. It's probably something fantastic. There we go. Ah, another map stone. Great. Just what we wanted. There are two terminals remaining. Stay focused. Didn't you say that last time? Right, good oh. And we're at the other lift. Right, starting to get my bearings a bit. Also, we don't need this to be here anymore. That's coming with me. And taking both of them because I'm greedy. Pretty sure we'll need them. Pretty sure we won't actually, but... Uh, you know what, I'll regret it if I don't. If they're just going to stand here and keep a door open that leads to nowhere, then why even have them anymore? Just pop that down there. Hope it doesn't fall through the earth. Right. Here we are. That's odd. Oh! I think it just did something. Oh, it fell, it fell all the way off. The Divine Beastie. Great. Okay. 
I think I know how this one works. Those spin. Okay, that one spins, the other one don't. I need to bring them round till that gets charged. There you go. Let me guess, rotating it the other way makes this one move? Yes, that's a special kind of uh, mechanical circuitry. I like it. I kind of think I know how it would work as well in real life. Here we go, the head's up. And the lift is down. Hang on, is this thing just looking straight up now? Oh no, it's back in its default position, that's good. Ah, oh, damn it! Not fast enough, spent too much time talking. Oh, flip! <laughs> Ain't mean to do that! I gotta send it all the way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Right, give me the lift back. Where'd it be? Oh, there it is. It's on its way down slowly. <sighs> okay. Up. Thank you. Hey, another map stone thing. I think there's only one left now. Just one terminal remaining. You're almost there. Excellent. No idea where it is. We Yep. Not sure why I'd be out here, but uh, you don't get many chances to do this kind of thing. Feeling I'll get shouted at if I try doing this at some point in the future. We're very close to those cliffs. I think that way is where the... Uh, Stables are. Sorry, yeah. It's observing. Okay, down here, I think. Rotio. That way looks like it would bring immediate and painful death, so I'm not going to go down any further, I think. Back up here. I'm assuming at some point there's a door in this uh, rotating wall. There you go. Yep. Oh. Hello. It's those chests from before. This side. Ah. Don't mind me, just opening this. Nice bow, a knight's bow. Ah! I mean, it doesn't do the two missiles, but it's better than some of the stuff I've got. Like, a soldier's bow. Who wants a soldier's bow? And this one's about to blow up anyway, so... Away we go. Gib! Right, um... I feel like I should be stood somewhere else when I rotate this the next time. Yep. Oh, you can rotate it more than once. Good. I must have played this through twice and not realised that. Oh, it's going anyway. That is entirely useless. I think I need to rotate the one that I'm stood on. This is always a bad idea. Sure, it'll be fine. Ugh. Nope, wrong. <laughs> well, I think I can make this work, actually. Yep. 
Yep. Definitely not how you're supposed to do it. Is this a sword? No, it is not. It's completely useless in this scenario. Right, where's the last one? Ooh. It's... Apparently it's right there. Oh, I see it. The easiest one. Of course I left it. Ow. Oh, my knees. It's just right there and I walk right past it. Who saw that coming? All I had to do was get in and turn it out. <laughs> Press a button and I could just be instantly transported to it. Why do I feel them? Ah! <laughs> Speaking of them, I think I just sent that all the wrong way around. Yes, I did. Uh. Uh. Okay. There we go. Okay, now let's rotate this middle one. I've made this as difficult as possible for myself, for science. Let's give ourselves a nice and easy. And I short walk to the last one rather than always jumping through the air and hoping for the best. That seems terribly silly. There we go. Right, last one. Boop, there you have it. Well done. That was the last of the training. Now, you'll need to start up the main control unit. Sounds easy enough. Is it a ma massive thing right in the exact centre of this that I've walked past about five or six times and it's glowing? Yeah, I think it is. That's going to have to be next episode. I've been Wolverine. This has been Breath of the Wild. Tutty bye and thank you for watching.